Hello, and what is going on, you guys? Hyperion Blue GT here. Welcome back to Gran Turismo 7, part number 6. Now it's time to get ready to grab the 1965 Mini Cooper S to upgrade it into 360 performance points and more after part number 5. For this video, it's all about having a short errand when participate in menu book number 6. So let's go over onto the collection. Grab the Mini Cooper S 1965 Ruby current car change. So you see you guys, the performance point is starting out in 251.10 on the Mini Cooper S is going to have to do some upgrade changes. But before that, let's just going to have to go over onto the Gibbs to open up the one star roulette ticket. So let's see which Gibbs should I receive for another round. Oh man, the Nissan C performance. I can't wait to get this car. Come on. So of course. Maybe I could probably have to get 2000 Gran Turismo credits instead. Hooray! I know you guys really want me to get the Nissan C because it's so very cool. But. No hard feelings. That's how every Gran Turismo as a YouTuber is all about. Using a roulette ticket to have one good chance of a prize. But 1% to get a car is going to be doing a fantastic work. Now let's go over on to some tuning shop for some upgrades. So Lucas said upgrade the Mini Cooper S 1965 is going to be doing some adjusted upgrades. So I have to purchase three types of sports tires to be between the medium, hard, and soft. Just gonna have to go in by having a jump start. Now let's see. Just gonna have to go with some improved upgrade. There's gonna be two choices of aspiration type. Go with a RPM turbocharger or supercharger. But the supercharger is very good high speed response to have a good RPM range in low. But it might be quite good enough to be maximized to be over between 360 performance points. So let's purchase this part and good to go. Just gonna have to give one simple thing we we'll need to have some installation. Okay, maybe let's see how the new engine is going to be look like. But I'm not going to have to ruin the surprise, you guys. I had to make sure that this will be a short errand by having a main part of the GT Cafe quest. So let's equip this racing muddler. Very good high RPM. Let's install and give a good 90 horsepower will be quite good enough. have to go with a cheap amount sports clutch and flywheel that should be needed to have some improved transmission go with a sports suspension every car needs any kinds of suspension we'll be doing some low basic tuning now what else what else should I might need fully customized LSD Works for me. Hmm. What else should I have to do something else with all kinds of extreme parts? 10,000 credits for a carbon ceramic brake kit. This uses carbon ceramic brake disc. Not a bad way to jazz up your car either. Okay. Let's purchase and see how this brake kit is giving a good interesting feeling. Alright, I'm, I'm done shopping at the tuning shop for having a good upgrade for the Mini Cooper S. So let's go back to the GT Cafe you guys. Nice work. You did exactly what was required. 
tuning is pretty tricky, isn't it? Yes, it is, Luca. It's all about try to build up a good, better performance. But it's worth the time and effort because there are lots of parts that can improve your car's performance. There are also things like power restrictors and ballasts designed to actually lower your car's PP. So have fun exploring the wild world of tuning. Very good job and not as easy you guys but also to be as a quick simple. There is Alsace Great France is now available and Sardegna Real Track to have a new title is now available. So it looks like it's time to get ready to go over on to menu book number 7. Collection European Hot Hatches. That makes a very good choice to have another menu book we'll be having today's list. Acquire all three cars in European Hot Hatches. Mini Cooper S 2005, A500 2009, and... <gasps> A Volkswagen Polo GTI 2014 is now labeled to be as a third list. Let's go and compete to have three cars will be ready to go. This time around, I want you to collect European hot hatches. Hatchbacks are compact cars with a rear door. The hot means they pack extra performance. There are February of cool hot hatches that have been produced in Europe over the years. If you're going to be racing a mini tune to 360 pp or more, then you should try out the race at Brent's Hatch. Your job is to collect three of them. Once you do, come back and see me. Alright Luca. That makes a very good choice to collect three European hot hatches and let's go over on to Europe to take three events will be participate to have a good well suitable performance in the classic Mini Cooper S. I can't wait to get ready to go over to have the next course is all about giving some good excellent pavilion we'll be doing GT Auto. Let's head out onto the world circuits to go over onto Europe, you guys. Best place to have European hot hatch is now raring to go to have highlighted into the compass. Five locations is now available. This makes a very good choice, you guys. Gonna have to start out in Brands Hatch to be recommended onto the United Kingdom. Sunny Cup 400. Third place or higher to get the Mini Cooper S 2005. Let's see how old fashioned Mini Cooper can actually take on with modern cars. Oh boy, looks like this is going to be so good to take on with Alfa Romeo Me Too 2009 and the Peugeot RC said GT Line 2015. A beginner's race for European sports car. Compete against 400 PP class rival cars. That makes a very good suggested to be requirement to be highlighted in green. So let's go you guys. If any classic European cars will be entered for part of the European Sunday Cup, I could probably have to go with a classic European hatchback is going to be quite going old fashioned. Let's see how old dogs with new tricks can actually take on with young people in the modern cars. Alright, so looks like Lopez is here. My name is Coquet Lopez and I've come to compete all the way from Spain. Spain is a country blessed with good food and good weather. Though it does get a little hot in the summer. The first corner here at Brands Hatch is a tricky one. If you hit the accelerator immediately after braking, there's a good chance you'll drive off the track. Therefore, it's important to hold back a bit. For today's race, I've decided to compete in a Renault Megane. Good luck out there. Alright Lopez, I can see you right now. Third place, that's how where he's at. 
All right, let's go and head over on to some car settings. We'll be need some organized strategy. Sports stop tires is good to go. So let's get ready to go fast, you guys. I hope this is going to be a very good opportunity to start to see how a classic Mini Cooper can go with a place. Let's see how fast and average without losing control of the grip. Okay, there you go. Just gonna have to keep a good steady focus and moving on in turn number two. But three laps is gonna be doing possible whenever you're gonna have to go hard with this car. Now, gonna have to take sector number two. Oh boy, there's the Lancia Delta along with the Audi TT. Gonna have to go over onto the left side. Keep pushing and gonna have to go hard understeer. Final corner, here I go. I can't wait until GT Auto is about to be open, you guys, because the Pavilion is about to go for the next list after three events in the menu book will be completed we'll be having all of my liveries will be coming right back to me and here comes lap number two gonna have to dive right down onto turn one again mini cooper s 2005 has been overtake there's c lopez right there in third place in the renault sport Megan trophy gonna have to catch up to him I have to be ready and get closer to him onto the next turn. There you go. Just gonna have to keep up onto the lineup. Getting closer. One clean overtake. Be patient and pushing up onto the throttle. There's another known Gran Turismo player in position number two. <sighs> Come on, gonna have to keep it up. This Mini Cooper S is gonna be going old dog. Gonna have to keep trying. This is gonna be very difficult, you guys. Oh yes, finally overtake Lopez and a French Gran Turismo player will do the same. And hello, Volkswagen Polo GTI. You're now in second place. Splendid and old fashioned, you guys. That's how old dog can actually do its new tricks because every driver always gonna have to drive with classic cars to beat modern cars. Moving on to the final stretch, kick it up onto the third gear towards the fourth and reached up by 75 miles per hour. I am so feel great out there to have my UDRS livery on this car. We'll be coming right back soon at any time. First place and doing well achieved to have a good classic competition. Very good job to take the third lap in 1 minute and 3.149 seconds. Total time in 3 minutes and 15.477 seconds you guys. And that's how you should probably have to try out and use any classic European cars just like the Mini Cooper S 1965. Halfway there to get over onto the maximum daily workout. One day is going to be doing well achieved and a first place on the list is now acquired in the menu book. One European hatchback car completes, two more to go. Okay, looks like the temperature feeling on my PS4 Pro really needs a air cooler. But I'm sure of it you guys. I can hear the loud noise on my PS4 console. I'll have to exit out and have another replay to be added to my collection. 
So let's exit out to Grants Hatch and moving on in the next event by doing a lineup to be going over on to Alice Village. But this area is actually locating in the borders of France and Germany. Alright, looks like this is going to be a very good interesting place to have a test course for event number 2. Get the A500 2009 in third place or higher. And there it is you guys. This is the test course layout in Alsake Village. Reverse section. Very good choice to have a nice classic car we'll be taking on for having a good old practice moment. So let's get ready to enter and head out over onto the test course in the reverse section of Al Sage. But I kind of like the new variation in Gran Turismo 7 by the way, but in GT Sport it was used to be as a full circuit without having a track layout. Clearly, Polybity Digital is putting up with a new change by having a good environment background is so incredible as we saw in the first introduction of the music rally. Alright, race number two, here I come and looks like I have a known Gran Turismo player is introduced to greet me. Bonjour, I'm Pastib Grevuis, nice to meet you. The Alsace region is in France but also close to Germany and Italy. The yellow flowers around this track are really, really beautiful, aren't they? France is a country known for its delicious bread and I think the baguettes are particularly special. Today's race starts in a broad daylight but it will be dark by the time it ends. Best make sure you have a good breakfast, I suggest a baguette. Alright, race number two is all about having a morning workout before the sunlight comes. But talking about doing some exercise racing until daybreak comes. So let's get ready and take on for having a new course layout on this track you guys. You're gonna have to go old fashioned and keep on racing to stay clean. Wow, the stars are so are so beautiful to see it. Okay, there we go. I know this is why I should rather have to do some good places to be well explored. Hold on. Looks like this corner is going up the hill. I bet this is going to get a little bit nervous you guys. Come on, just going to have to kick it up onto the high gear. Take that final turn and keep a good well directed until at the end of the first lap. What I know about this track is putting up with a different change to be added onto the new layout. But here comes daybreak you guys. After night time, the sun goes up and we got a perfect time to go racing before breakfast time comes. There you go. Renault Clio RS 220 Trophy 2016 has been overtake. And the RC said GT line is now keeping up on to the pushes as well. There's C. Lopez and B. Reveroses are now going right in onto the battle for first place. Gonna have to catch up to them, you guys. Take that final turn, and here comes lap number three until I'm about to have a first first place podium at the prize. Come on, just gonna have to get closer to them and oh boy, breaking point by communication. 
I'm sure of it. There we go. C. Lopez and the Renault Magan trophy is... Nope, not yet. I gotta have to keep trying and I'm about to go right in onto this turn. He's driving the Peugeot 208 GTI by Peugeot Sport. There he is right now, gonna have to get closer and passes through. Whew. Wow. That was a very good European hatchback relief. Oh boy, looks like this is gonna get a little bit corner out there, you guys. Gonna have to keep pushing away. <sighs> All right, looks like I finally did it. Almost had the chance and giving a one chance of having a clean race, but first place by using the same car to be current by ongoing. But I'll make sure this is going to be a very good fastest lap time to have an all-rounder will be labeled as the main achievement. Lap number two to be well achieved in one minute and 4.812 seconds. Total time in three minutes, 19.8 seconds with a decimal of 39. Always make sure that I have to keep rehydrated by drinking a lot of water you guys. There you go. Clean race bonus as always to be adding up with 10,500 credits. And there you go. The APOP 500 is now acquired onto the second list. One more to go, and that means the Volkswagen Pluto GTI 2014 is now labeled to be as the final list. <sighs> that hit the spot. Now this is going to be a very good night time for a replay to have a good thumbnail after this. Okay, let's go exit out, so I have to make all replays that that needs to be ready to be shared. There you go. Another replay saved to the library, and now let's go over on to Sardegna Rail Track. Very good choice to be highlighted with the logo title onto the updated version with the track. It also to be locating at Italy to be at the large amount islands. So there it is. This is gonna be a very good place to do the final round in the European Sunday Cup 400 you guys. Get the Volkswagen Polo GTI 14 is now received as a third prize. Yes, looks like we're going in onto the B course layout in two laps. This is gonna be it you guys. This is going to be it. Stitching up by having a good grid card is going to be doing much faster to master all kinds of corners by the terrain. Always going to have to go with a downhill and uphill until we have to move on towards the first and last corners. So we have to make sure to be well strategized if you have enough performance parts to be well upgraded by using the Mini Cooper. But in a matter of fact, because I also left the fourth video to be posted on Dividend Art by having a journal entry to let my watchers know. Okay, looks like Lopez is here to have something to say. Have you already attempted to get your National B license? I wonder. I'm the instructor for the National A license, and I'm pretty confident I know my stuff. This track has long straights, so you'll struggle if your car isn't packing enough power. If you find yourself getting left behind on the straights, try switching to a different car. Yeah, I know how you guys really think about switching to a different car, but not giving up yet. I'm always going to have to keep using the same car after complete menu book number 6. So here I go you guys, race number 3 in the European edition of the Senate Cup will go on. Apply overtake, we'll have to go much faster to have the Mini Cooper S, we'll have to go for the old fashioned trick movement. But it's gonna be Sardegna Rail Track to be on the B course layout, that's gonna be Sardegna alright. 
I'm going in there, folks. I'm about to take a good, excellent corner technique whenever I have to do some circuit experience. Just gonna have to keep a little bit more careful with the stability balance. Slow down and keep a good pressure on the inside after the Volkswagen Polo GTI block me. Okay, sector one clear. Now it's time to go down the hill. Okay, very good. Very excellent and increase the acceleration onto the fourth gear. Oh boy, here comes the top corner. Gonna make sure, just gonna have to do early braking points to go up the hill to beat the terrain. Just try to make sure, just go increase the slipstream before enter the uphill section before entered onto sector number three. But I almost had the chance to be catching up with three cars left standing by the remaining. And there's the Audi TT 3.2 2003 is now currently in fourth place. Gonna have to switch things up. Here comes the final turn. Oh boy. That was a close contact by the way. The supercharger might be giving a good choice we'll have to go increase the high RPM. But looks like three drivers have already made it on to the final lap. But I know you guys really think I should rather have to go and switch to a different car. But also to be mentioned by putting up a new clip in case if I could probably have to do some minor mistakes by doing a commentary video. But I'm still trying to learn to be well ex express myself. Alright, there you go. Now I'm gonna have to take the main focus for the top three drivers. C. Lopez and the Renault Sport Macan Trophy is still currently in position number three. And there's the DS Automobile DS3 Racing is now currently in position number two. Time to go down the hill, you guys. Oh man, so far so close. And I'm about to go advantage to have last two hatchback in the modern car will have to go a sharp turn to be at the right. Ah, come on. I should rather gonna have a turbocharge when I need one. Come on, keep going. I know I can feel it. I can feel the exact victory in first place. We'll have to get closer by the gap. Oh boy, here it comes. Almost had the chance. Almost barely had the chance until I'm about to get silver. Well, Beal Boris, looks like you got yourself a first place win. Very excellent. But now, I still got a chance we'll have to do another round. Lap number two goes incredible average under 2 minutes in 1 minute and 59.872 seconds. Total time in 4 minutes and 7 seconds by the decimal of 316. Now looks like this is going to be number 2 finish in the silver. So yeah, I guess this is going to be doing a fantastic job and driving ma marathon complete. 3 star roulette ticket. Very good job. And also, a Volkswagen Polo GTI has now acquired in the menu book. Awesome. I'll make sure this is going to be another round. We'll have to do a replay after this, so... Maybe this race is over because the third round is 
doing a good average since I got second place for the first time in GT7. Okay then. I'll make sure I'll have to come back at the European Sunday Cup until I have to do my best before I'm about to get the gold. So let's go back over onto the GT Cafe to have a good car collection will be well achieved. And there's a good wonderful background to be having a good mountain view to have three European hot hatches is completed. Congratulations, you got all three cars. This completes your European hot hatches collection. Once you collect your rewards, I got some stories to tell you about these cars. Alright, looks like this is gonna be good. Photoscapes are now available in this pavilion. And GT Auto as well is also to be available. The perfect time to have all kinds of good features from the past Gran Turismo games including livery editor and custom parts will be well fitted to do some different modification. I'm so excited you guys. I bet all of your libraries, including mines like UTRS, Total Drama Fan Art libraries, and more that I also recently made is also to be coming back from GT Sport and to Gran Turismo 7. I'm so excited to have all of my UTRS libraries will be coming right back to me. I can feel it. I can feel it to have a great moment. Now, I bet Luca has something else to ask me something about the highlights with European hot hatches. Let's give a good description about three European hot hatches, what Luca has something to say. Give it away, Luca. Are you familiar with the term hot hatch? Yes, we are. It refers to hatchback cars with powerful engines and a sporty suspension. Take the high performance GTI version of Volkswagen first generation Gulf, which made its debut in 1976. It's now generally considered to be the very first hot hatch. Very good and classic. Love it and a very good popular to the first generation Volkswagen Gulp. The Polo is the successor to this original GTI. While brands such as England's Cooper and Italy Apebarb have been producing high-performance models since the 50s. All right, looks like this is going to be the perfect time to get ready to go over onto menu book number eight until be ready to get ready. Get <sighs> sorry about that. Excitement habits. That's how it always does. Menu book number eight. Wash a car at GT Auto. So this makes a very good choice to get ready to wrap this up until at the end of part number six. I'm so excited to have my UTRS liveries will be coming right back to me in GT7, you guys. The rest of you can actually have to do the same. Scapes is now opened. And the GT Auto is now open as well to do the same. Very good job and two Papillons including three will be needed to be unlocked. So this is going to be the perfect time to get ready you guys. Tokyo Highway Parade is coming up in part number seven. Thank you for watching on this video in Gran Turismo 7 you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Just go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment, and bell for notification on upcoming content videos if you like to see. I'll be seeing you guys next time on part number 7 in Gran Turismo 7, and I look forward to seeing you guys again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.